whatever, whatever I can do. Okay, let me okay. Do it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, it, it came along good. We went up there. Um, man, it, it was funny because they was like, "Yo, you gonna play Slick Rick?" Right. You <laughs> the the shoot was channeling yeah. iconic figures and yeah. all that, and you did Slick Rick. How did that feel? I mean, I'm like, they like, I said, I look like Slick Rick. I don't, I don't look like Slick Rick like you. Yeah. So they pat, put the patch on my eye, do all the gold chains on. We, we made it happen, man. Definitely you know, a good look, Big shout out though. to Azori, though. You know what it is. How did you link up with them? How did you make that happen? Um, Actually, they was well connected with some people over here at our, at our squad and our team. Um, You know what I'm saying? And my publicist was on her job and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just people that's down with the whole Money Green squad. And we just made it happen. Got me up in there. Cool. Big shout out to the publicists. They're Bro. very, they're very key people in making. Bro, big big shout out to my publicists, man. Echo Sounds, where you at, baby? <laughs> so now, for those um, that you know haven't heard your mixtapes and all that, and aren't familiar with the Rain Check Joint, which they should be because we played it here. Mm -hmm. What can they expect on this Birth of the Star record? As far as like, is there anything different from your mixtapes? Yeah. Um, actually, when, when I be doing my mixtapes, I just be blacking out, like, mm -hmm. I just be displaying my lyrical talent, you know what I'm saying, just showing the critics that I could actually spit, you know what I'm saying, right. I, I could hold it down, and on my album, I'm actually showing you I could spit too, but, um, I made a conceptual album, um, okay. actually, the first name of my album was G-Related, but I changed it, um, me and some of the hierarchies of Money Green had a, had, had a discussion <laughs> about it. Like, yo, you want to be a hot rapper or, or you want to be a great rapper? And all the great rappers made conceptual albums. Right. So I went back in the studio and um, just did it over, named it The Birth of a Star. Changed the name up, switched the tracks up. Yeah. When people hear The Birth of a Star, they always think like, yo, flashy diamonds, this, that, that. Right. Because people know I be throwing it on sometimes like mm -hmm. that. But um, actually, The Birth of a Star really come from my mother. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because I was like my mother last son. And she always told me I was going to be something special. I would be a star. You understand what I'm saying? I, my mother passed when I was 10. So that's what she left me with. Wow. And, and so okay. that's why I'm, I'm going with it like that. Very Keeping inspirational. Like that. I like yeah. it. I can dig the title, definitely. Word. You were recently featured on MTV2's One World <laughs> Hip Hop Championship yeah. as a street rap specialist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That sounds like a big job title. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Actually, they was like it, that was crazy because uh, everybody came out uh, to the event. Uh, uh, Forty Glock was out there from G Unit. Um, uh, Mr. Fab was out there. It's a big uh, deal that yeah, whole event yeah, and e the first 40, one, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Shug, brush, brush shoulders with Shug, holler that Shug out there. It was a lot of people out there. You know what I'm saying? But actually, it was like I was like giving my views on the battle, like what you got to do to deteriorate your opponent, you know what I'm saying, what you got to do, so actually one kid took heat, I forgot this kid's name, well, he went out there, he asked me, he said, Joe, um, which, how, how you think I'll be if I go out there, you think I should do, I said, Joe, this was backstage, I said, Joe, just go out there and tear their head off, yo, don't think about nothing, and neither, I'm going to tell you, this kid came out and just went bananas, <laughs> shout out to you know who I'm talking about, I don't remember your name, but you remember it. <laughs> So the winning rapper, did they win one million dollars? Did I read that correctly? Um. Well, whoever win the whole thing when it's over, they mm -hmm. win one million dollars. Wow. Well, I'm sure after taxes, maybe they win like five hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, I so. mean, hey, you know, they got they got to go in their some, Still somehow. Suffer. But um, yeah. So that was a good look, you know what I'm saying? I was just commentating. Um, and again, like, that was set up by your publicist, or um, how did you become involved with that? Oh, uh, my manager. Okay. Yeah, my manager went over there, so um. Holler, made anything happen. Actually, I was yeah, already, I was out in Vegas already. You know what I'm saying? I was out there chilling, and um, the whole thing was going down while I was already out there. So I just drove, jumped. They said, "Yo, we gotta go over here to uh, the hip hop." All right, come on, we jumped in the limo, boom, went over there. It's definitely a good look, though. Yeah. A yeah, lot of exposure. There yeah. were a lot of commercials for it as well, and you were yeah, featured was, on all the commercials. Yeah, it was it was running on MTV too, mm -hmm. like daily, running all the time. People calling me, "Yo, I seen your commercial." I had to get another line. He was calling her. It was all good, though. So, so what's next for you? Um, you've accomplished a lot in a little bit of time. What's next for you? I mean, um, the top is next. Um, cause some, I, I still feel like I, I really didn't accomplish anything. Cause, um, I'm not considered a legend yet. I'm not considered great yet. So, as far as I'm concerned, I, I have a lot more to accomplish. I ain't accomplished nothing right now. So, 
You have accomplished something, though. Yeah. You definitely have. You've made your name known, and, you know, you're grinding, and you yeah, will yeah. accomplish a lot more in the yeah. future to come. And yeah. you've been know on that, the Don Mama's that. radio show. Know that. <laughs> Don Mama's radio, man. And not a lot of people can say the that. Odyssey, Jersey, man. Y'all know how it's going down. <laughs> you know it, baby. So, um, let's get into another one of your joints. Yeah. Uh, Living is the one I believe I have queued up here. Okay. So let's get into it. Move deals in the building. 732-932-8800. You rocking with the Don Mamas, baby. So keep it locked. Yes. We in the building till 10 o'clock. You know it's going to be Better come out and party with us. We're going to get it popping. It's a red carpet affair. Mm -hmm. Red carpet affair. So you've got to come dressed to impress. I don't want to see. Ladies, I don't want to see anything <laughs> crazy. Please. Yeah, no. Don't make no me regulate at the door because I will regulate at the door. But it's going down. Please don't forget, November 27th, Red Carpet Affair, Club Abyss, Milky Mike, Funk Master Flex, and the Don Mamas. And okay. all of Jersey Radio, baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, and Dang. big shout-out to our boy, Lou Guz. He's going to be in the building Dang. celebrating his birthday. And also big shout-out to Asan, the golden child from the Blueprint, who's also going to be celebrating his birthday. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, just want to give a big shout-out to everyone involved with that event. Also, big shout-out to Nucci Rayo. If you haven't seen his blog, go check out his blog. He's Definitely go check thing. that out. Also, big shout-out to Corey Guns. Um, if you didn't know, he actually is working on a documentary Dang. with Nick Cannon. It's called Son of a Gun. And, um... That should be an interesting We're going to be interviewing right Corey Guns as soon as he gets back from Paris. So, big shout-out mm -hmm. to Corey Guns as well. And big shout-out to In The Box TV. Yeah. Big shout-out to everybody up here at WRSU on the Monday night mixture. DJ Erod, Sammy Figs, Sprint, and DJ Deli Siosa. Big shout-out to all of y'all. And, um, everybody else up here at WRSU. Yes. So, let's get into it. What back are the things that women do to men that are very cruel? Some of the things that Denise does... <laughs> You're really looking to get smacked up here today. <laughs> your, head's, that is, your head is to me, so watch yourself, okay? <laughs> I'm plain. She only does these things sometimes. Um, I do it to Shayna, actually. <laughs> See how she treats me? God, okay, go on, no go respect. On. Okay, women, that what they do. They don't pick up their phone. Is that that bad, though? I mean, come on, sometimes no. you want your space. No. I'm guilty of that one. That's not bad. She might be busy doing something. Exactly. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with getting back to you, right? Leave a yeah. message or send a text. Yeah. Would you be mad if a woman used you for a drink? Nah. It's one drink. I'm going to spend more money buying myself drinks anyway, so I'm, I'm, I don't mind. Yeah, now, I don't know why fellas get their panties all in a ruffle about buying a chick a drink. Like, it's not that serious. And you know what? Like, fellas should already know what the deal is. Yeah. So, like, I mean, if she ain't trying to give you no play after that one drink and she's not really going where you want with the conversation, keep it moving. Yeah, You yeah. know what she's talking to you for. Yeah, I am. Exactly. So let's go. What's next? Number eight on the list. Um, women use men as placeholders. And this I can I can understand. If you're just using a man um, as a as a placeholder in the relationship and just tagging him along until something better comes along, that's not cool with me. Like you should be in a relationship because you want to be in the relationship with the person. As long as um, if the feelings are mutual, uh, mm -hmm. they both on they both on the same level. Then oh, you know that's they what they doing. Like all right, we just doing this to to you do what you do, or I do what I do, and they both come to agreement on that. Then that's cool. Then that's okay. That's all right. If it's just a booty call till you find what you're really looking for. As long as both of you agree on, on the same page. So don't okay. nobody be torn. And I feel